Hello, this is Bernardo. Welcome to your greatlifetv.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, where any one of you beautiful women get to ask me a question or I get to share how to attract the man of your dreams, how to make him fall head over heels for you, how to devote himself to you, how to have a guy who is basically just a little bit afraid to commit or to for you to move along and create something better for yourself. How to create passion when passion is dwindling and anything in between. <laughs> so that's what I, this, this segment is for. And uh, today I want to share with you four ways that you can use at any single point in your life if you want him to fall crazy for you, to feel crazy for you, to just can't stop thinking about how amazing you are and, and basically that creates more commitment on his part. The first way, and I know it sounds simple, I know you're gonna think, oh, can you be more obvious, Bern? Can you just give me something else? I, let me assure you that as obvious as this one is, so many women that I get a chance to connect who know this intellectually are not doing it. So my key for knowing something is when you know it and you're doing it, you know it. When you know it and you're not doing it, you don't know shit. <laughs> so here it is. You need to value yourself more as a woman. What do I mean by that? You need to own, own how valuable, how precious, how much of a great, amazing catch you are. You need to own it and you need to exude that in the way you walk, talk, breathe, smile, look at him. You need to know how much you're worth because when you know how much you're worth, number one, that's incredibly sexy. If you do it right. Let me give you a clear, clear distinction here. When you do it right, it doesn't come across as cocky. It doesn't come across as someone who's arrogant. Arrogant is someone who's closed off and is confident, but is so confident that it's just like nobody's worthy of her. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about confidence with a smile. Confidence, but playful. Confident, but at the same time with an, a compassion that allows him to enter your heart. That's what I'm talking about. That is incredibly attractive. And the second thing that this will do is a guy, we guys, as you may have um, <laughs> figured out, are more insecure than we ever appear to be. So if a man who's always, always wanting to prove his masculine, always wanting to prove how much of a man he is, no matter, I mean, it's just like something that comes from nature. It's not even intellectual. He can be a great spiritual Buddha and he, part of him still wants to prove he's a man. Part of this will, will basically say, hey, if she's so valuable, if she's so hot in so many different ways and she knows it, and she's giving me her time and she's making me feel special and I'm the one that's basically opening her heart, what does that say about me? That makes me incredibly valuable as well. So it goes both ways. That is going to be the number one way that you can, <laughs> you can make him fall crazy about you. Fall crazy about yourself first. Second way, uh, and again, just I can't emphasize enough how much this is not an intellectual process. This is heart owning full body experience. When you can do this with your entire body, then you've got his heart. Second way is <laughs> I want you to invite him into your world without making him your world. What do I mean by that? I think women sometimes fall into two extremes. Number one, they're like playing games or can't give him the benefit of the, of the doubt or don't have the time of day for him. So he invites you out a couple times and you're like, you never have time for him. Then he moves on, like period. That's like just no brainer. Second one, you like this. I'm not talking about just some guy. I'm talking about a guy you really like. If you really like him, tendency is like to drop everything else for him. So he calls you and, he, and you have plans and you cancel your plans. Or you are, have an outing with your friends and you basically tell your friends you can't do it. And you go, and you go with him. So this is, what I, this is my suggestion. My suggestion is to, is to have a balance in such a way that you have such a great life that he values you more because you have a great life. Number one. Number two, you can include him as part of your life. So that means that and I'm going to go down into number three in a, in a second, but that means that you can invite him to be part of your thing. You don't make it so formal all the time. <laughs> and that's, uh, and point number three is redefine dating. If you redefine dating, that means that you're not going to just na natural tendency for most people is you're, you're about to meet a guy. He's incredible. You feel incredibly attracted by him. And then what are you going to do? You're going to go sit down in a restaurant, talk for a couple of hours. Uh, he's in, he don't even touch. I mean, that's not fun. <laughs> so, if you make it more casual, if you make him, invite him to be part of your friends, 
uh, date. You're having a date with your friend, your girlfriends, and you say, hey, come along. First of all, he's, he's, if he's really a man, he's to be with a few girls out, then he's going to show it. But also, you're going to get to see a different side of him, a more playful side of him. It's going to lead into a part that's less stress because he doesn't have to prove himself to you. And at the same time, it will allow for more spontaneity where maybe deeper connection or more touch is allowed. And when that happens, that is when some magic gets created. So really fine dating also means find more ways to, to make it fun. Uh, do other activities and have him be part of it. Have him come up with them. Don't come up with them for yourself because then you're basically doing his work. Now, I'm assuming the whole thing, and again, I may be wrong, but I'm assuming that I'm talking to a woman who's interested in attracting a guy who is strong and masculine versus a guy who's weak and a pushover. So if that's what you want, then point number four is incredibly important. You need to, you need to let him feel that he's a man. Letting him feel that he's a man is allowing him to take charge and make some decisions. I'm not saying all the decisions, I'm just saying some decisions in some crucial aspects, especially the beginning when you guys are meeting. If he's someone who wants to be considerate of you and just, hey, I'd love to, to go out with you, uh, what would you like to do? I mean, an easy thing for you to say, hey, let's go have dinner, let's do this. Don't do that. Instead, turn it back on him and say, you know what? Um, surprise me. Be playful. Right? I mean, you be playful and ask him to surprise you and ask, turn it back on him and allow him to make the decision, allow him to own the experience because at the end of the night, at the end of the day, at the end of the outing, if you have allowed him to craft something that has lit up your heart, he's going to feel immensely more valued as a guy and much more of a man if he thinks, hey, I created this on my own and I pulled it off and look at what I created. She's radiant, she's smiling, she's happy. That makes him feel valuable like a man. Uh, going into something deeper, being valued as a man also means that when you realize he's doing things that are making you feel special as a woman, let him know, not just in your words, because all of that's important, some women don't let him know in any, any kind of way, which I think is a loss. When you allow him to know how much of a woman he makes you feel by what he does, even little things, opening your door for you, uh, being <laughs> kind, uh, creating something magical, surprising you, whatever it is that makes you feel special as a woman, let him know with your voice and with your body, with your touch, with the way you look at him. Because let me tell you something, if a guy feels that he can A, make you happy, and B, feel like he's more of a man when he's with you, he's gonna choose you, period. <laughs> so that's pretty much all that I have for you right now. Uh, if you have any questions for me, you can send them to me at Bernardo at yourbreaklifetv.com. Address email address here on the screen. And in the meantime, I challenge you to look at these four steps that I gave you and try them out. This intellectual BS is nothing until you try it out. So try it out for yourself, see how it works, and let me know. <laughs> uh, as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.